Yeah, no, I'm going to go, whoa, Black Betty, and he's going to go, Avalanche. <laughs> or you do, whoa, Black Betty. What do you want, what do, you want to do? Whoa, Black Betty. Avalanche. 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 Tyler coming at you from Spoiler X with my buddy Ryan, and uh, we're talking to you today about the Appalachian. Whoa, Black Betty! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, hopefully there's plenty of information uh, good for you in this video, but check down in the description below for a very info-rich blog that should answer any more questions you may have, if you have any. Uh, but let's just jump right into it. So the name, pretty unique mm. name. I mean, it makes me think of the Appalachian <laughs> Mountains. Yep. But uh, Appalach, it yep. is named actually after uh, Appalachicola. Nice. Which is a Florida <laughs> beach town, uh, kind of the, the the roots of Costa, the Florida yep. company. And so anyway, but yep. uh, this is a part of their Del Mar collection, right? That is correct. So instead of that typical bioresin nylon that you're going to get from the core collection, we got the all acetate Del Mar collection. And what's cool about acetate is the amount of colors and unique colorways that Costa can put into this compared to what nylon can hold. And I think right here, you got you know some sandblasted texture temples, and you got just a really cool mat of smoke matte crystal colorway that I think you can't really do in that nylon, which is pretty unique. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So uh, I know that there are a lot more color options, which which speaks to, you know, their, their more kind of daily lifestyle exactly. frame that they're going for with the Del Mar collection and very unique. And this is a cool colorway in mm -hmm. particular. I love yeah. that sandblasted look. Uh, another thing that's pretty unique to this yeah. line, the Del Mar line, is the adjustable temples, mm -hmm. which with their core line especially. Exactly not as adjustable, just goes straight back or has a slight bend yeah. to it, but this is more fully adjustable. Yeah. So Let's show the people too, let's show them a comparison for before go ahead and compare. then after once you can adjust them. So pretty unique to fit a lot more faces so you don't have to, you know, the temples don't press against the side of your head and you can make sure it's comfortable all day long. Yep, so you can not have to stress about <laughs> temple length at all. Yeah. Uh, another thing to note, they are only available in non-prescription anyway in the 580G, which is the glass material, That's super right. scratch resistant, good mm -hmm. material for sure, optical clarity yeah. all the way there in prescription if you need them, which they are available mm -hmm. in they prescription. Are. You can get either glass or Trivex. Uh, yeah, why don't we go over the, the frame measurements here? Because this is, this is a big boy. This, this is, is a big, big boy. boy. Yeah, so for the lens width, we got 59 millimeters. For the lens height, we have 45 milliliters. For the DBL, the distance between the lenses is 18 millimeters. The frame width is 142 millimeters. And then the temple length is 145 millimeters. Really cool frame, definitely an XL. So oh, yeah. if you're an XL, this is gonna work well for you. I'm a pretty small face, so fortunately not for me. Yeah. I'd say typically for size reference, similar to the Rincon or the Aransas. So like right in between those, so good XL frame for those big headed folks out there. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's a really cool frame. Definitely check it out. If you have any questions, uh, leave comments down below, mm -hmm. call us, whatever. We're here to help. Check us out on uh, Instagram, yeah. SupporterX. Why not? Yeah, please. See you out there. Yeah.